I'm the greatest to ever play this game. There is no one that comes remotely close. Yes, maybe I've only been to one event, but I'm the greatest to ever live to play this game that we love of Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, it will be a shame, it will be a damn shame if my talents were spent only towards making Pendulums the greatest deck of all time. So I thought, why not, why not make the worst deck of all time, Brick Stars, why not make that one of the best decks in the world? Why don't I do that? Why don't I take my pendulum? Pendulums are too easy. It's too easy to make pendulums good. You guys see what I do. Five negates, six negates, four negates, any hand trap, no problem. No problem. But today, I do the unthinkable. I do the very unthinkable job of making Trick Stars a tier one deck. Now, obviously, it's not going to have all Trick Stars. It's going to have maybe five at best, but it's going to have 10. My version has 10. I'm going to showcase you guys right now my deck list and then duels as to why Danger Orca's PK Trickstar is one of, if not the very best deck in the meta. Now, if you guys seen through the, you guys seen through all the YCS, this is like Luna Lights 1 with, with PKs, Dangers, etc. You can basically throw PKs and Dangers in any deck and it's a good deck. But what if I told you the very best version of Danger PK Mash is with Trickstars? And let me show you why. Your boy, the Pen God, is now also the Orcus God. Because Orcus are a huge part to do with this. There's a whole new game plan involved here. So make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Alright? Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Check out my trick gameplay on the below. And I'm not going to show you why Trickstar Danger PK Orcus is the very best deck in the meta. Except for Pendulum. That's obviously number one. No doubt about that. Right after that, it is this deck. It is absolutely insane. And it OTKs through anything. The new game plan is this. You don't play Trick Stars for Licorice. Garbage cards like that. You don't play it for Set Reincarnation, which isn't even an interruption. You just give them a new hand. You don't play it for those shit cards and you play 15 shit hand traps. You play it simply for Trick Star Light Stage. Let me read what Light Stage does for you guys. Get rid of a back roll. That's what it does for you guys. Look at the meta right now. Sky, Sky Circle, Salamander Grades. That's like going to be the most you're going to be seeing in the meta. So I thought, I thought, wait a second. The only way to make Trickstar's relevant is having it as a one card engine with Light Stage. So Light Stage pop a backer. What Light Stage search? Light Stage will search Trickstar Candina. Normal summon Candina. You don't even use Light Stage effect. Because they're going to Impermit or Valor or whatever the uh, Candina that you're playing pure. Then Light Stage get rid of the other back row. One Light Stage equals get rid of two back row and two interruptions and... Uh, you have a free monster on board. But if they don't interrupt the Candina, you simply search for Reincarnation or a special card I'm going to show you guys in the deck profile, which I'll show you guys right now. And then when they, there's two great two effects where if you discard with, with a danger, they summon it back itself. So it's like Stage turns into a plus three. It pops a back row. So one card equals four. Pops a back row. Gives you a free monster in Candina. Candina then searches you a th second card, which is Reincarnation, or the second card I'm going to show you in the video. And then when that card gets discarded by a danger, you summon back another card. So it's four cards. Four cards from one, which is insane. And uh, going first or second is great, especially going second. So I want to build a deck that puts on the gates going first or going second, OTKs. So I'm going to now show, uh, show, show you guys the deck profile and why it works so damn well together. And then at the very end, I'll show you guys duels as to why Danger or Constrictor is the very best deck in the game after Pendulums. So without further ado, this is the deck profile. I you see over here, eight Trick Stars, uh, eight Trick Star Light Sages, or Trick Star Candinas, whatever you want to say. The whole point of it is to get Light Sage. Light Sage gets rid of a back row for you. And as soon as you get rid of a back row, you get the normal summon. That's the second monster, like I said. And then here's where it gets nice. Here's where it gets nice. I did it in order like this, with no spells or traps in order. I did order of the actual engines. So the 10 card Trick Star engine, and I will explain what the other Trick Star card is that you don't know what it is, the, the little two, level two right there. Trick Star Mandrake. Trickstar Mandrake effect. When this card is sent to the graveyard, from ha sent from hand to grave, so when it gets sent by uh, uh, Danger, when it gets sent by a Nightmare, when it gets sent by a Dragon Ravine, whatever it may be, it summons itself for free, which is not, it's a Trick Clown in your hand. So it's literally a tri Trickstar Trick Clown. That's what it's called. But for me, Trickstar Trick Clown. That is what Trickstar Mandrake is, and is what actually inspired me to make this deck. Now, as you see, this is 40 good cards and 10 Trickstar cards. You don't see no garbage Licorice. You want to know what's Brick Stars? This is Brick Stars. Normal Candina, Search Licorice, Pass. 
This does so many things after you do the, you search uh, after you search normal Candina and search for a trick star. It does so many more things after that. Like it does so many more things after that. But this is a play you want to start in your opening hands. You eight of your starters. You want to open the light stage. You want to open the Candina. They have to pop something. So they're gonna they have to stop one of these. So if you summon light stage, let's say that impermanence, uh, uh, like I showed you guys in the video, he had two cards set. He had a light stage and a Salaman Great Trap. And you had an Ash in hand. So those were those were his three interruptions on my turn as I o swiftly OTK him. Those were his three interruptions. So I'm dealing with three interruptions and I got to win it. Not many dice can OTK the three interruptions. It's pretty tough. So what do I do? I summon Light Sage. Light Sage effect, get Candina. Normal Candina, he thinks I'm playing Pure Trick Star. Impermanent, stop the Candina. Light Sage blocked the other back row. And just like that, Foolish Burial of the Strudo, he ashes, this, uh, ashes that. And then just like that, we have... Uh, four cards in our hand left after two cards are the three interruptions and the other four danger cards brings out the Orcus cards and the PK cards to OTK and to put up two fog blades if you can't OTK which is auto win through every single deck right now so that's the deck that's the game plan of the deck where you normal summon the light stages first get rid of the back row get other interruptions then you get free cards and the cards they replace themselves so after you get rid of a back row Kadena gets Mandrick or Reincarnation and then the danger discard them and then you summon them back so it's like you're playing two Trick Clowns right here. Reincarnation and Magic to me says uh, Trick Star, Trick Clown. That's what it says. So Trick Star Clown, Trick Star Clown. That's what they are. So you're essentially playing 10 cards that give you free water for dangers. Which is why Trick Star is so damn good with it. And only a big brain like mine can come up with that and a big beard like mine. And I am the greatest player of all time just as this is the greatest football team of all time. Now, on to the next engine is the dangers. We play 21 of them. We max out all of them that have good effects. So you, you want to go second. I want to go second, but I know what deck I'm facing. I'm not facing Salamangrates. They can't play their two Fog Blades and, uh, and uh, Savage Dragon. The deck puts up three Negates going first or four, depending on that, if you have a Distrudo. Ask the Distrudo, which you have seven ways to do that. Anyways, you play 21. Why do you play 21? Because the whole deck's revolved around Dangerous, and you want to have Thunderbird or, or Brick Fight. I think they're so underrated, because you always go to Nightmares. Always, always. You're going to end up resolving two or three discard effects from Nightmares. So after you, you use a good nightmare, sorry, after you use a good danger to get your cards on field, you discard the bad ones of Thunderbird and Dogman or Mothman or whatever to ensure you get effects off them uh, guaranteed after you discard it. So their good effects are actually nice. Like you get a free, you know, after you summon the first Nightmare Mermaid, which is the whole combo of the Orcus, after you summon two monsters on board, you don't want more monsters on board. Uh, the Orcus take care of the rest, which is why we also play them. So it's an incredible game plan. I'll show you guys how it works. Around the 10-minute mark, we'll go right into the duels. But the first 10 minutes around deck football, last 10 minutes will be the duels. Now, so like I said, the 10 trick star cards, all 10 of them equal, plus, uh, the 8 equal plus 4. And if you draw a Mandrake or Reincarnate, you just discard it with the uh, with the Dangerous, and you end up getting a free plus. And it's incredible drawing a Light Sage. It's so, so, so good. Uh, and then 21 Dangerous, obviously. And then next, we want the Strudo Engine. The Strudo is an auto win almost. So we have 7 ways to do it. We're Another reason why I'm playing Light Sage is we wanted a way to get Ravine. We want a consistent way to go into the Strudo. So not just drawing it, hard drawing it. So I tried other stuff, which I'll show you guys the spice for this deck later. But this deck truly is the second best deck in the world. And I'll show you guys why in the duel. It just can't lose. It literally can't lose. It cannot lose. It, Danger Orcus are so incredibly powerful. It cannot lose. When you increase it with a little bit of spice, like with Trick Stars here and a whole lot of PK cards because they're broken, and the other da like Thunderbird and Bigfoot, good dangers, are amazing cards when they get discarded. They just uh, singly pop back cards, like light, eight Light Sages, gets rid of back or Thunderbird, get rid of a back or Bigfoot, get rid of a monster. The Strudo take care of that. Nightmare take, and then use OTK. Anyways, we play seven ways to go into the Strudo. So two Terraform, one Dragon Ravine, that's three. One Foolish, four, three to Strudo, seven. And then the Mirror obviously. You don't need to play Second Slide, because Second Slide doesn't let you go into the PKs. And the reason why Danger is so good because of the PKs. And Orcas are so good because of the PKs. So why would you play Second Slide that stops you out of the PKs? And as you notice, we don't play as a thought. Because you, here's a big brain play for you guys. Uh, there's 50 cards in the game right now that one card stopped as a thought. Kaiju for one. Twister. MST Denko. Dino Wrestler. Sphere, Golem, there's so many random stuff to stop it. Why would you want to get this uh, uh, get butt fucked just by one of 50 million cards that everyone decided? Azathoth was amazing when no one was prepared for it. Now that anyone's, everyone's prepared for Azathoth, don't play it in your decks. Fog Blades are way better. Because what are they going to do? Kaiju, you're one of three interruptions, no problem. So you always have the interrupts anyways. Anyways, we have the seven of Sudos, which are auto win, and then the Orcus engine. Uh, two Orcus Nightmare, which is you need two in case you draw one to ensure for uh, my, Nightmare Mermaid always resolves. For those who don't know the Orcus combo is you simply go into a Nightmare card. So Phoenix and Cerberus, get rid of one monster or spell trap. And then you link into Nightmare Mermaid, discarding a, a plus one. This is why the whole deck is Grave Effects. If you look at it, every Trickstar card, even Light Sage, is a Grave Effect. Because it searches a Grave Effect. So 10, every Danger is a Grave Effect, 31. Distrudo, 34. 
35, 36, 37, 33, 39. All orcas are great effects. 42, 43. And then even the fog blades are great effects because they bring them back. So 40, out of 50 cards in your deck, 45 are great effects. 45. Imagine that. You have 21 dangers in your deck and 45 cards in your deck have graveyard effects. That is nuts. That is how you plus off dangers. When you have 45 graveyard effects in your deck. That's how you plus out of 50. Uh, now... Uh, the other Orcas cards, there's only one of each. You don't want to see the Orcas. The reason we bumped it to 50. In fact, we want to bump it to the deck to 60 if we can. But 50 is just the perfect number right now in terms of good cards. You still want to see your good dangers. Uh, Dogman and Ogopogo are useless. But these 21 are fantastic. Thunderbird and Bigfoot are 100% good dangers. They get, uh, they do the job of a Nightmare Service or Phoenix. Uh, just by, uh, but with, instead of two monsters, just by discarding it. And you're always going to discard it from the Nightmares. So you always want to see a Thunderbird or Bigfoot in hand. If I'm facing a backer deck, I really love want to see Thunderbird. Or a monster, I always want, really want to see Bigfoot. And it, Orchestrated Return also. People don't play this because they play Psychos Light, but it's a free draw too. There's a combo going first. We end up with five cards. Just a generic what, Link 2 monster, like Nightmare Phoenix, or just two monsters on board, equals five cards in hand and three negates. Well, which you OTK the shit out of them next turn, and they're not OTKing you to three negates. So the three negates are just there to protect you from losing. So two Fog Blades with Rusty coming back, all that, and Savage Dragon to protect you from losing. If you don't have access to the Strudel, Savage Dragon is Redoer or Evil Storm Nightmare. So it's protecting from losing. Usually you can do all four. And next for the PKs, we played three Cloak because if you get a Cloak and discard it with a Danger, which you have 21, you're always discarding cards or Nightmares, you're always discarding multiple times, Dragon Ravine, etc. Uh, discard Cloak, add Boots. Uh, get rid of Boots, add Brigadine or Fog Blade. There's so many cards, so many cards you get for free. Cloak is amazing and you really want access to Cloak. Uh, Cloak's incredible. Cloak's absolutely amazing. First or second. In fact, I don't sign up the PK engine going second. Because uh, after you clear the board, it's good to have two Fog Blades. Uh, going second, I take out two Cloak and one Brigadine. But I keep one Boots, one Cloak, two Fog Blade going second to ensure you have two uh, Fog Blades after you clear the whole board in case you can't OTK. It's absolutely amazing. And the only thing I would take out out of this deck, it's absolutely nuts. There's no bad card in this entire deck. Absolutely insane. Drawing Mandrake is good. Drawing Reincarnation is good. You just discard it with the uh, danger is totally good. Uh, the only thing I could possibly take out two Cloak and one Brigadine. But you want access to Redoer because Redoer single handedly destroys Salamand Grace. Because when you get rid of their normal summon Salamangre card, they lose. So, uh, it's just too good not to play. Side deck, 3 Reboot, 3 Twister, 3 Dino Wrestler, 6 Kaijus. If you notice it, 9 for Monster decks, 9 for Back Row decks. And if you also notice this, if you're facing a Monster deck where Light Stage doesn't hurt, there are 10 Trickstar cards. One of them is an effect in ha a Graveyard effect, Mandrake. So, you keep the Mandrake, you get rid of the other 9 Trickstar cards for 9 mon uh, Monster Interruptions. If you're facing Thunder Dragons, uh, if you notice, there are 9 Search cards here. The 9... Uh, uh, Trickstar cards, you keep Mandrake, get rid of the 9 search cards, now you have no search cards in your deck, uh, you easily destroy Thunder Dragons, easily destroy the Mirror, easily destroy Sky Striker, easily destroy everything. And against Backer, you got these 9, where simply, if you go second, you get rid of the Phantom Knight cards, uh, minus the, uh, just 2 Cloak, 1 Brigadine, uh, sorry, three, get rid of 3 Cloak, 1 Brigadine, 4, and get rid of 3 Bigfoot, so that's 7, if you face a back row deck, uh, and then you get rid of 2 random cards, and you got 9 of these back row interruptions, amazing. Extra deck, tight as shit. One Mermaid, one Phoenix, one Cerberus, one Unicorn, and one Galatea, non-debatable for Orca's decks. Summon Sword, Rusty, non-debatable. Boral Sword, no space for Boral Lord, but it would be the next card to put in. Link Karibo, we have seven ways to go into the Strudo. So we want Bri uh, Brios, the way you destroy it's Thunder Dragons, auto win against them. Draw one of your seven uh, the, the Strudos, which you have 21 upstart goblins, you will see it. Uh, Yazi, Boral Savage, because going first, you want to put up two Fog Blades. Savage are typically one of the rank fours. Redoer at Nightmare. You can only put rank for it in dark interruptions because after Orcas, you go do darks. So you can't play Dweller Drex or whatever. And then lastly, Break Sword. Because going into the going second, uh the Phantom Knight cards are so incredibly broken, and you have access to Break Sword easily by with the very end of the Orcas combo, which for those who don't know how how to, or, how to play Orcas, I'll show you guys in the duels at the very end. This is gonna be a long video because the first video I'm featuring this deck for, and it's absolutely nuts. Now, at the very end of the combo, you have option to special a level 4 or a level 3 from the Orcas combo from summoning two random monsters. So, you have the option to go Redoer, because a, a, a Phantom Knight card is going to get you the Brigadine. So, you have the option to go Redoer to get rid of a monster and pop a monster. Or a Break Sword to get rid of your random back row or your light stage. And to pop a card with Rusty's effect. So, because of Rusty's effect, going second is great both first and second. Because you pop two cards with Break Sword and Redoer, and you OTK. It helps for OTK a lot, and you end up with a Fog Blade or two anyways. So... That's insane. It's absolutely nuts. I'm not boosting about it. I call it dot. Why should we say dot PK? Danger or constrict star PK. Absolutely nuts. It's insane. I'm not going to showcase you guys the deck in action. All right. So I'm going to go from the very beginning of this. 
We won the die roll. I'm going to show you guys right here. We won the die roll. We're basically PPG. I don't know if this is a fan account or the real PPG, but we won the die roll. We let them go first. We want to go first, but I just want to showcase uh, uh, those, uh, for the video mainly uh, that the deck OTK is going second. And going first, it puts up three negates, and then OTK is the following turn with five cards in hand. And uh, you, so he's playing Salaman Green. So if you look at this, all right, and you guys got to bear with uh, the cooking of the next play and all that, but... He goes Foxy, he breaks He breaks game one, he breaks game one. Uh, he's going to end up with three interruptions, a uh, one in hand, two set. Uh, he hits had Foxy, gets another Foxy, and if you look at her hand, we notice he's playing Silent Man Greens, right? This is why we play the Trickstar cards. Now, if you notice how, the way I set up the, the, the... If you notice the way I set up the deck profile, the Trickstar cards first, it, it was all in order of the uh, chronology that you want to summon the cards. So always want to summon the Kandina first to get rid of the back row. So if you see what I'm going to do here, Light Stage is about to get rid of one back row unless he stops it, and even two of them. And then you play with other cards in your hand by OTKing them. So, look at this. This is why Trick Stars are so damn good going second. Not Trick Stars, but pure Trick Stars, garbage. But Light Stage. Light Stage is the only reason you're playing Trick Stars uh, as a little engine in here. So you have to be Light Stage, he has to negate it. If he doesn't negate it, you're stopping with the back row. He doesn't negate, which is great. Which means the others probably what, might have not, could not even negate it. Now we normal Kandina. We don't activate Light Stage yet. And then he impermanence his Kandina. Why? Because you go Light Stage. No one thinks you're playing Dangers or Orcas. You're thinking you're playing Trick Stars, which of course you're going to imperm the Kandina. What else are you going to impermanence? A Licorice? There's nothing to impermanence in pure Trick Star. So he impermanence the Kandina, leaving Light Stage to pop the other back row. Now, just like that, you got rid of two back row with one little card in your deck. Twin Twister without discarding. It's insane. And you get a free monster on board. So it's even better than Twin Twister without discarding. And you get a free monster on board. Like a for free. For free. And you still have five cards in hand. Like one card got rid of both back row. So we get rid of that one. Next we're going to Foolish Burial. To get rid of any hand trap. Because he has to he has to Ash the Strudo. Right? So he didn't Ash the Foolish. So like, we thought we didn't have Ash. We might have wanted to see what we had. Or maybe save Ash for the very end. Right? Now we go to Strudo. We go Yazi. And now it's all fun and games from here. Like just like that we got rid of two back row. Now we're going to get rid of the rest of the board. If he doesn't, Yazi pop that, he protects it. Yazi will still die and still summon out Mirror Mirror. If he doesn't Ash this, we're going to go Boral Sword and summon all our dangers at hand and win. And what's he do? He Ashes it. That's totally fine. We use two cards to get rid of three interruptions. Two cards to get rid of three interruptions. And the way Orcus is, there's an actual game plan behind it. All we need to do is summon two dangers. Summoning two dangers, summoning two monsters on board, equals Papa Backer from Phoenix and... Summon 8,000 damage in total with Boral Sword and a level 4. I'll show you guys now why this is the best deck. Trickstar is only there to get rid of the back row. Get rid of the interruptions. Get rid of Impermanent. Get rid of Ash. People Ash Kandina all the time. People Ash uh, Light State all the time. And it saves you for their better plays. So, our Jackal, we revealed the Jackal, but got discarded. It's fine. If you have a hand like this, you don't want to reveal Bigfoot. In case it got discarded, uh, you don't get a free summon. You only need two monsters on board. So, if you have two free summons, save the Bigfoot for the very end to discard, right? So Jackalope, Nessie, we reveal those two. He took 400 from uh, the Impermanence. So Kandina, so he gets rid of the Brigadine. I think the better play would have actually been to summon the Brigadine. And then Nightmare Phoenix, the Nessie, to get a free plus. That was 100% the better play. But it's totally fine. So we summon the Nessie, that, draw a card. We get Terraforming. Cool. Uh, and then Cerberus. We don't want to pop the back row. Because if we pop the back row, he could... Uh, just, just, there's no reason. He got, he's locked out of it anyways. And we don't want to pop this the, mon the monster either. To get free father, fodder for Boral Sword to get a little extra damage in. Now we go Nightmare Mermaid. This is a combo for those who don't know the Orca's deck. Uh, we don't want to discard Bigfoot at this point. If they had another monster maybe here, we would definitely activate uh, discard Bigfoot. But at the same time, we don't want to discard the monster because it's more attack for Boral Sword. Uh, so we discard Terraforming. Get Orca's Nightmare out here. Shut up my boy Kill Switch. Watch it. And uh, now this is the combo. So you go summon an Orca's Nightmare. I'll uh, go into Link 2. Banish. You can only summon Dark for us to turn now. Uh, Orca's Nightmare, special, uh, Banish, uh, send har Harp to Grave, Banish Harp, special to level 3, he's not going to summon Sorceress, as you're going to see how two monsters on board equal OTK, so two monsters on board, if they have, if they have any monster, equals OTK, uh, so we go summon, so we Banish Galatea, sorry, Banish Galatea to special Galatea, we actually play Orca's Return, because it's an amazing card, so we, re we bring back the level 3, we bring back the level 3, another great, great, great play we could have done here, is, uh, we could have, Bring back uh, level 7, Orca's Nightmare in the deck. Keep the level 3 in there. Keep the level 3 in there. Or we could have bring back level 4, whatever. And then we could have gone into Break Sword. 
uh, especially in a break, uh, sorry, not breaks, but going into Rusty, banishing Cloak to add uh, add boots, special boots, and then uh, summon Sork, bring out uh, the card that brings a level 3 World 1, which I'll show you guys. Then go with the Break Sword, popping out a card, and then popping another card from Break Sword's effect. And then since you, yeah, so it's amazing, but this, we just did a, the easy OTK, which I'm going to show you guys. There's so many plays with Rusty and both Break Sword and Redoer for OTKs, it's insane. This deck can never not OTK. We also had a free pop if you had a bigger board. So if you had a bigger board, if you didn't brick, it would have been the same thing. Because if you didn't brick, uh, normally you have a bunch of monsters. You're going to get a free pop on Bigfoot, free fire to pop. Like, it's incredibly easy. Incredibly, incredibly easy. We could have gone some... Well, I would have gone Rusty if had more monsters to pop. But there's nothing to pop. Next, we go Boral Sword, simply. Manage that card that I showed you guys. He already took 400 from Kandina uh, for activating a trap card. And we simply attack and win. So you guys saw, two monsters equal Boral Sword and a hard pour, 1700 attack. And it's OTK. So we're not going to go into game two. To show you guys more. This is a more amazing game. Uh, I believe we didn't open that good. And yeah. It's just a great game in total. So. You're going to enjoy it. We, saw, we didn't sign anything. We didn't sign anything. We took we, did, we had nine cards to sign for this matchup. We didn't sign anything. Uh, it's for fun. Like it's. it's uh, Asylum Aggrates is the easiest matchup in the world. I think the deck's so easy to beat. Playing this deck. It's so incredibly easy to OTK. Even through the, all the monsters they have. Uh, now look at what they're going to do. So you're going to uh, open up normal. You're going to do all that. Get the car. We're going to have a set roar. And I believe he had three three interruptions for this one. Now, uh, so we reveal Jackalope. And I'm going to go a little faster because it's already hitting 21 minutes. But we uh, you see here, well, very unfortunate there. We went a little fast. But I opened Cloak Boots and I drew it to Brigadine. Leaving a dead card for Cloak. We needed, you're going to notice the very end of this uh, play. Uh, the very end of the duel. We needed one more card to win to OTK. Because all you needed was two monsters, right? Because you go into the Orcas combo and win. But... We were one card off from that combo at the very end. We're going to have to manage your resources or not. We, we play a lot of Cloak to hope we, we get Boots and Brigadine. But we ended up drawing Cloak's only targets, which is Boots and Brigadine. Which is so unfortunate. And Brig uh, Boots would have such a Brigadine as well. But we need another mod. That was totally fine. So we keep doing dangerous stuff. We know he has a counter trap. We were trying to draw into Light Stage. We're trying, we, don't, we want to save our normal summon. Dangers are there to draw into Light Stage, draw into the Strudo. Because those are the way you get rid of the interruptions. And then you save the Orcas for the very end. So you try to get rid of all their interruptions with Kandina, Light Stage, and Distrudo. And after they spend their interruptions on that, by summoning free to end the Nightmares with the Dangers, you end it with a Nightmare Mermaid to OTK. So that's the whole game plan here. Where you clear the whole boards with Nightmares, uh, Light Stages, uh, uh, Thunderbirds, Bigfoots, and Distrudos. You clear the entire board with those, and then you uh, go into Nightmare Mermaid, Orca's Engine, and you OTK. So it's so easy. He, he gets rid of Thunderbird. Special Mothman, Thunderbird, pop a backer. We needed it to pop... The counter trap here, but we hit the spell. So we lost the whole pop there. Unfortunate. Uh, we need... That's totally fine. We drew the Strudo, and we needed to resolve what we want. So Nightmare Phoenix to pop that. He's obviously going to negate. Uh, so he negates it, obviously, which is totally fine. Now we have the Strudo. So now at this point, we win uh, if he has no Ash. Because we got rid of the Strudo. It was all planned perfectly. Yazi. We're going to pop another card. We're going to go with the Nightmare card. Uh, pop another card. And then a whole Orcas combo. Fog Blades at the end. We win. So if he has no Ash right now, we win. We got the two stuff. We have, he has no Ash, we win. And if he has Ash uh, to, for our, uh, for our Mare Mare, it sucks. Uh, normally we can play around it, uh, but with this with the hand we had at this point, we can't. If we had well, if, tra if the trap was in the deck, and if the trap was any other monster, let's for example, this is a danger. Let's say one of these were a danger, or uh, any normal summon. If any of these was a normal summon, and uh, Cloak would have banished to get the Brigadine, to go into Nightmare Cerberus, then go into Mermaid to discard the last card, to go Orcas combo, we would have cleared his entire board and end up with two Fog Blades. So we would have won. But unfortunately, we got extremely unlucky here. Uh, and he asked the Mare Mare there. And it was, it's not that we got unlucky that it was a Mare Mare. We had no normal summon at the end. And the, we needed the boot, uh, the Brigadine to sit in the deck to add with Cloak for the free plus one. And we would have still won. Like With a hand like that, we still almost won, which is insane. Uh, now we're going to show you guys the next duel where we decided to go first. Going second is incredibly easy to OTK. Uh, even that, have, like, look at this hand. Now we're going first. You look at this hand, it's just a typical hand. Two trick star cards, uh, two jackalopes, which is bad. You don't want to see two of them, and a cloak. So, I'm going to show you guys now going first. What you do going first. So, you go light stage, you get the Kandina. You get a free summon. Normal Kandina, he's impermanence. Boom, that's what Kandina's there for. You want it to get impermanence. You want it to get Ash. You want it to get Valor. And we, just like that, through a hand shot, we're going to have three negates. Now, we have four cards that we're going to reveal a jackalope. Jackalope, what gets hit? Cloak. Special jackalope, draw one. Uh, we're going to go a little fast here. We go into any Nightmare card. That was the play right there. You just go into two cards, Nightmare, and now you go Mermaid. You discard a card. We could have summoned Mad We could have discarded Mandrake to special summon it. 
But this combo needs level fours. You want as many level fours as possible on field. So uh, we're not even going to activate Mandrake's effect. In fact, the better play might have been to use Jackalope to keep Candina on field. Um, uh, to use Jackalope before anything, uh, before we even did it. But just in case God discovered, like, whatever, we'll just keep it. Uh, we're going to discard Jackalope with the Mermaid to bring out a level four Mothman, I believe. And, uh, or yeah, so now we're just going to keep going into the combo. We're going to do an entire Orcas combo. And uh, no matter what he does, we're going to have interruptions on board. So you want to save the Cloak just in case he uh, interrupts your Rusty. To ensure you're still going to have tra uh, traps. Because the goal is two fog blades. You just don't want to get OTK'd. That's the whole plan. Don't get OTK'd and you're OTK'ing them next turn. So all you want is to set up a Rusty. To be able to rank 4 or rank 3 dark uh, on the... Uh, dark rank 3 rank 4 on him. To destroy a car on the field. And destroy another with the rank 4 rank 3s. Whether it be break sword or... Break sword or, or uh, redoer. And you just want level 4s on the board. Because level 4... There's no rank 3 dark negate. There's no synchro 7 dark negate. There's no Synchro 6 Dark Negate. So the only way to put it in Russian is far from Dark Rank 4s. Which the best ones are Redoer and Evil Sword Nightmare or Boral Savage. There are Synchro 8s we could do. So the way to put up a Synchro 8 is uh, in this combo, Skeleton is going to come off field. So if you have access to the Strudel, you special it by targeting level 3, making the Strudel level 4. Bringing out a Savage Dragon. You have 7 ways to go into the Strudel with Dangers. So typically we do have a Savage Dragon on board. But we're going to set the Orchestrated Return here. Which the normal combo is you go into Rusty with... Uh, World Wand and or and uh, Galatea, but instead we're gonna draw as many cards as we can. We're gonna search for as many cards as we possibly can right now, and then we're going to uh, then we're gonna use Orchestra Return afterwards. So just by using Summon Sword, you can save Orchestra Return for World Wand, which is again sort of World Legacy, which is what this is. Orca's card to draw two, and uh, we got one Fog Blade there. We're gonna get rid of the other. Get the other. Now that all the traps are out of the deck. We'll draw. We'll draw two for free, uh, hoping we get maybe another level four. So we got the Strudel a little late. Uh, we use the Strudel now, it'll only be level 3, uh, leaving a Synchro 7 play, which are no Synchro 7 Dark Negates that are good, so we opted not to do that. Banish the, uh, we, we don't need to banish it, we can keep this in Graveyard for next turn as another uh, extender next turn. So next turn you're going to start with a free level 4, and the level 4 is going to give you level, so next turn you have the whole uh, Orcus combo again. Because if you save this in your Graveyard, on the following turn you banish this to special the level 4, and then you banish the level 4 to special level 3, and then you banish the level 3 to special Galatea. So that's like free link 2, free link 1, free link 1. So 4 free links. So that alone gives you 4 free links just by keeping in your grave for a follow-up to ensure you OTK. That's why I said it's so easy to OTK going second, especially by saving one of them. Now you simply summon a Brigadine and get yourself a, a Redoer. Because Redoer against Salamangrates auto-win. Auto-win. The second they normal summon any Salamangrate card, you just about, uh, put it back to their deck and they pass. And you have two Fog Blades to make sure that you win. And... You have another option to go for, obviously, the Azathoth play. But let's say they play one of the 50 million ways to out it. What are they going to do here? Kaiju or Redoer? Sure, you still have two Fog Blades to stop their whole turn, and then you OTK them. So I'm not going to play through too much interruptions. Uh, now, yeah, boom, just like that. Look at that. And then he, he scooped. He couldn't do anything about it. And that's victory right there. Going first or going second, it's auto win. I prefer to go second just to stunt on them. But going first or going second, I don't mind any of them. As of the I'm telling you right now, people knowing about it and preparing for it, it sucks. Take Azla out of your decks. Or Kali Yuga, whatever. You prefer negates, because if they're going to Kaiju 1 or get rid of 1, you still have the other 3. Or if they summon Denko, you redo the Denko and you have 2 Fog Blades. So, it doesn't matter what happens, it's amazing. And then if you got lucky and get the spell, redo re re could be another negate in the following turn. That's the deck, guys. It's absolutely amazing. I'm not boasting about this. Deck's absolutely incredible. After Pentas is the best deck, and I'm going to showcase more videos in the future as to why. This deck's nuts, man. This deck's nuts. It just doesn't lose. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a long video, near 30 minutes. I've been talking a lot, but this deck's insane. I want you guys to see the power of this deck. And if you guys like this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Check out my sponsor in the description below. And check out my beautiful trip game play, man, if you'd like to help support the channel. So thank you guys for everything. See you guys in the next video. Peace.